I fed the street cats today and gave them fresh water. Apparently, they cleaned up that homeless camp, at least one of the homeless camps out there where that attacker came from. The kitties were very hungry today because their breakfast was stomped on yesterday. TikTok actually took down that video because of false complaints, but it's still on my other TikTok page where I only have 2,000 followers and it's still on my TikTok stories. You can also watch it on Instagram or YouTube. If you don't follow me on Instagram or YouTube, then why the fuck are you following me on this particular TikTok? I have another TikTok, but it has hardly no followers. What, you can't follow me on there? That's not a rhetorical question. I'm legitimately asking you, what, why, why can you only follow me on this one? I can't believe I was asking quote unquote celebrities to promote my video from yesterday. But get this, I was not doing it for me. I wanted to help the street cats. I would never ask for a celebrity's help. Many of the people I tagged, they know I exist for damn sure. And, but the last person, a selfish person wants to help. Once again, it wasn't for me. It was for the street cats. They didn't even need to fucking mention my name. But no celebrity wants to help someone who is more talented or better looking than they are. Most celebrities are weak with fragile egos. They need constant reassurance about their nobility and their greatness. And they always have a constant fear of somebody, quote unquote, stealing their thunder. Employers and bosses are the exact way. They easily get threatened by somebody smarter or better looking. So that sucks for me or anyone trying to get in the foot of a door of anything. Thing. I once met Bella Porch at a church in Hawaii before she was famous. She was in a military uniform with her friend, also in a military uniform. She couldn't take her eyes off me during the church service. And afterwards, when you had our little meal, I decided to sit by her. I felt, you know, I was doing her a favor. But I was actually doing it to make a woman who I was interested in jealous. And, you know, I figured Bella, you know, obviously liked me. Neither her or her military friend said a word while we ate our vegetarian meals on paper plates. I just played entertaining, talkative comedian role, which I'm so accustomed to doing around shy people like her. Also, I'd been going to this church every week, and this was like their first or second time there. Regardless, I wasn't interested in her. I was more than two feet tall, almost two feet taller than her. And the only reason I tagged her in that video yesterday is because I wanted to save these street cats. And she supposedly used to take care of a colony of cats. I know damn well she knows who I am, but she wouldn't be interested in helping those homeless cats because she's too afraid it would help me and I would somehow steal her fame. I tagged Britney Spears yesterday too, and guess what, guys? I'm not interested in her either. I used to find Britney Spears very attractive, and she probably still has a kind heart, which is attractive, but the way she looks today, she looks like my mother looked when my mother was old. I swear to God, I pulled hotter bitches when I was homeless. I read one of Jordan Peterson's book. He was trending on Twitter today because Olivia Wilde called him a pseudo-intellectual and the king of the insults. Well, I'm definitely not an insult, and neither is Cristiano Ronaldo. Both of us like Jordan Peterson. Olivia Wilde looks like she's 80 years old. She has an old lady's face. I wouldn't ever date her either. I'm on Team Miss Flo, and I don't even know who the hell that is. I don't watch movies, and I don't read fiction. The only fictional character I like is Holden Caulfield. That's because he hates movies just as much as I do. I'm Mr. G. Gregory Brandt. Buy my book right now.